thank you God for it. I was there in the little system of worship.
you are not supposed to run, you won't be married in a Hindu marriage yet. You will be like the angel. But she was an open girl. She was she, 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 she a very open girl, very open. She asked me, she said, the Brahma, that is a boring place. The middle of the class, I said, the Brahma, that is a boring place there. Yeah. I said, no, Shaka. Let me tell you this. Right now, you are flesh and blood. And right now, you are in this order, in this natural world. It is given unto us here to procreate. Not the angel, the angel made as the are made. But we are, we are given the opportunity to procreate. We are white and as well. But Sharon, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Sharon, if you would like to get married in this world, if you would like to get married, make sure you get married in this world. If you want to have children, then have children in this world. But I'm telling you, in the other world, you have different environments. Having a different nature, having a different glory. Here, you have a glory world you can see. When I understand that, when I understand that she was married, I was going to take care of two children. Two children. I, I would like to meet the man who think I ever seen them. I did go and praise on that glory that now she will graduate from this life, that she will have known. As she is known, I know the truth about this. We give the prison chance that uh, they give them out a lot of things in Sunday school. I know. Uh, and uh, the hope he has, I know, is a secret. So may God bless her. Hallelujah. And she will give this word. So this mother has to say, remember of Sharon. She was a very unspoken child. In the summer school, pretty one day. So you just go and ask questions. If you don't feel any help, just ask you. And um, I, I, I hope she will know that in reality, in this life, God is God. Pretty is there anybody else? Yeah, I'm sure you have some questions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to. Praise the Lord. I'm going to invite you to Hallelujah. St. John chapter 11. St. John chapter 11. And let's read from verse 23. And Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Mother said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. And Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he would dead. Yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Today I just want to preach upon. The graduating the ceremony on a passing to glory. The graduating ceremony passing on to glory. It's a time we have to understand that this life is temporal. This life is not eternal. And we have to have a ready mind that one day we will call out. Of this world. We should look forward for that day. So when that day will come our way, amen, it will not come 
one to go and blind. And Jesus Christ was then spreading, amen, in their places and said, amen. Neither this man sin nor his parents, but the works of God, a spiritual life will then manifest in him. So that's why he was born blind. By the same praise of the name God makes the spirit of the clay and among his eyes and tell him to go to the pool of Salomon. The man came and see spiritual life experience in your life experiences. She will have seen, but amen. I do know the praise of the name, I don't know the condition she was in, but amen. But we are in position, amen. And she was wonder, amen, in passing in this way, amen. And then so she, she lent her hope in Christ. Bible says Christ the hope of our eternal salvation. She would have seen that amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name. The Bible says that wisdom of the name of accomplishment. What is that accomplishment? And you're talking about sin on gold or house or land or any kind of thing. That doesn't matter to her right now. It will matter to her children and she will have to come for children and this and that. And the wisdom of the name of her accomplishment. And I want to speak upon her spiritual accomplishment. Come to this world, hallelujah, mighty God, without any material, hallelujah, amen, and things for the man we need. We have to live here, amen, with spiritual things. Her, her, her accomplished certificate, amen, of study is stated in Ephesians 1. And I want to read that to you because we have time. Her accomplishment. I guess she was a she was a brave student. She would have expressed it. Something would have been possible to her in this natural order. Amen. Tell her, tell her, tell her, brother, we're skip this with what you like. She would like it. She was brave. I want to tell her, amen. Amen. Today we want to issue her certificate. Praise the one for me. Praise the Lord. Her accomplishment or accomplished certificate of study is stated. Hallelujah in Ephesians 1. And I'm going to get it out of you. I'm going to read it for you. Ephesians chapter 1. Praise the Lord. Reading the command from verse 15. And hear what Paul was stating here. And I wish for when I go home, he was thinking, read it over. Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith, Lord Jesus, Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The diversity of my The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that he may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his parents in the same. I do yes, amen. I do get it by the school and studies, amen, to arrive at the certainty of the word of God, the revelation of the word of God, the truth of the word of God, the light of the word of God. I'm still learning. Praise the one for me. And he said, Here, how do you The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that he may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, God, who believe. According to the work of his One of the things that a Christian or a pastor or a worker must understand is the power, the spiritual power and authority in the name of Jesus. We are all understand by what authority, amen, and what name, amen, amen, that's it, amen. He works by, amen, to bring about such a, an important thing in our lives. Shine, amen, hallelujah, amen, be, amen. Uh, a person who brought the church will see the power of God demonstrated at many times. 
What did they see in Paul's greatness towards us when we need? Which he had wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him on his own right hand in the heaven in the places. Far above all the parties and powers, far and might and dominion and every name that is made. Not only in this world, that's what he was saying, but not only in this world, we are able to take world that is to come by the power of God. By this great state, if you have tasted of the word of God and of all the world to come to fall away, it is hard to renew you again. Amen. And in this university we're talking about, this certain case we're talking about, amen. It's a certain case, amen, of graduation, amen. You must ask to be a believer. Oh, it says here. The last words, and I put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. The church, the church is, in, is the military, hallelujah, university. Amen. You must be graduated. When I was a, amen, when I had, uh, when for, I could become a fireman, I had to go to the training school to, to, to be trained in fire technology. I must know the behavior and pattern of fire. Amen. And therefore, amen, 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 for I had to for six months because we were a powerful match. So we'll be able to execute our duty if it is in me. We must be restricted in faith and power of God. And I think that the, amen, being at the time of God of the man, with the word of God, amen, hallelujah, amen. She will have known a man the strength of the word of God. The hope. But I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just say this thing today. Today, she's by me. With the highest achievement and awards. With the highest achievement and awards. I'll tell you what you understand. I knew that she was a person that she would ask the same for certain that understanding the revealing knowledge and understanding. It's not easy to pass through the new music. Today she's bad with you. With the highest achievement and awards. What is that? The believers award. The believer award. Read the scripture for you here. What the Bible is saying is amen. How do we say? He can be read. No, he is dead yet. Shall he be? That's what we want. The believer is reward. It is not easy to believe. Amen. The word of God. Amen. Until the word of God has come a revelation in the life experience. I have seen the Jesus Christ for three years, taught the disciples, and said, Amen, verse 1, Amen, the Son of Man must be born there. Amen. My evil man and died on the cross and then died and rose again from the dead. He was teaching them in the university, the spiritual university, the church. Amen. He called all prayer with them. You know what? For a graduation as a real believer, one of them will not be Thomas. Oh, yeah, he passed them in the Red Sea, in the sea, in water to water, in the sea. Yes, he fit 5,000, 5,000, he fit 5,000, but that's 5,000 pieces. Yes, he did all these kind of things. He did all these kind of things. But this is the final test of graduation. Amen. Because this is our faith has been upon the pillar that he rose again. Because of all the day from the dead, we understand what sin we paid for. This was the qualifying. And Thomas could not. Why? He said, Okay, I see, I touch, then I will believe. Jesus Christ told us that you have to be, see to believe, but blessed 
they will have to see and yet believe. Amen. Peter, hey, no, 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 Peter. Thomas failed this. Amen. Luckily for Jesus Christ, not to come. Amen. And rescue him. Amen. But I'm telling you, what I'm saying, and see a pass the test of a believer. You know, pass the test of believers. What God that is stood there and said, He that believe. Amen. Hallelujah. I 
and the product. We want to help them with the arguments of this university. We we'll pass all. The argument is in the word building. I'm studying the word building, but the Bible says, He that believe, the same shall be saved. And sometimes to the natural on the mind, you don't to understand the qualifying and the depth in what the word of God is saying here. What qualifies you in means to believe on Jesus Christ because you can die for your sin and I can die for my sin. It only takes the Holy Word of God to come. Amen. And I told him that substitution and atonement and sacrifice to die for you and me. The word believe is what you have to understand. Not by any works you can do. Not by any words you may have or possess. <laughs> Some people feel because amen to have wealth in it. Yes. And we let come, amen. This thing means nothing to you. Everybody will and then we'll be. It's the arguments that make it real in our life. The world we live. Let me explain to you. The world we live has it. In the not seeing order. The word is a spiritual way. The word has its root meaning in the not seeing order of life. In other words, it has its root meaning in the spiritual order of life. In the amen, hallelujah, you must have the word of belief and its root meaning in the not seeing order or spiritual order is not his. He did not see. He did not see. He had his root. He did not see order. That is the Bible says he that come to God must first believe that he is. You cannot see God with your eyes. The Bible says he that come to God must believe that he is. That he is a reward to them that diligently see him. By the grace that we don't think it is impossible to please God. Amen. You have to understand. Amen. By divine revelation. Amen. To the living God. Let me tell you something. When Jesus, when God wanted the children of Israel to fully know that he is, let me tell you something. He came by this not seen order. Amen. Is holy ground. 
God is a mighty God. Muslim is God is a mighty God. Okay. The argument in the school, the argument, the argument is we are believing. Thank you. 
are here to represent We Rise Ministry. Sister Lisa has introduced us to her auntie, who we had the privilege of knowing. She used to visit us from time to time. We are located in the central area. And it was a privilege knowing Sister Sharon. You know, she was a woman of faith. The short time that I knew her, she always held faith. She was a believer. Her faith was strong. You know, and one thing she would always say is that she used to say, my God will bring me through. You know, every time we would speak with her, she never spoke negative in spite of her situation. She always had that faith. She was a faith-driven woman. So that little time that, you know, we would fellowship with her, what I can say about her is that she never lost her faith in spite of the situation. She held on because she had a relationship with her God. She knew who her, who her God was. She never wavered in that faith. If there are times they will see, she will call or talk to her and go, she'll sob a little down. But at the end of it, she will always say, I know who my God is. I know what my God is able to do. So, you know, today I just wanted to say a little prayer to encourage the family, you know, Father. We thank you today, God. We thank you because we know who our God is, oh Lord. Father, we know where our sister Sharon, oh God, is today, oh God. Because we know, God, we have our hope, oh God. So today, oh God, we rejoice for her, oh God. We may be sad because we may miss her in the natural, God. But we rejoice for her, oh God, because she has finished her course, oh God. She is the place where every believer desires to be, oh God. We rejoice today, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Want our harvest attached to us. 
Amen. At this time, I'll call our pastor, Pastor Lennox, who will bring a word of greetings from the wise ministry. Amen.
May God bless you. This time we will open the cover.
Not everybody do you know, but I know.
So God himself, to the power of holiness, raised from the dead. And so he declared, because he was made like unto man, he had all humanity in himself. So God was judging sin in him, in every man. This is why he was on the cross. This is why he took the pain and the suffering for you and I. And therefore, because of the reality, the spiritual reality in his name, we can have the, 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 the experience in our life, experience of the power of the resurrection by great deliverance in his name. The Bible says, there is no other name given amongst man whereby we can be saved. But in the name of Jesus Christ, every new shall be every tongue confess that he is Lord. This was a new thought. This is what we call spiritual reality. And therefore, it is to death. Thank God for death. Thank God that we can raise into a new the boy is going by the way, there is a rip from the boy. So that's what we read the scripture to you. Before we commit a body into the earth. It says here in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse uh, 51. Behold, that which is sown in the flesh, that is the flesh, that is the flesh, that is the flesh, I always say life is not a problem to solve, but a mystery to be revealed. And that revelation is in Christ. Christ come to reveal the mystery of God in our lives. We might keep them And some people can't understand that. But it is known to all the world that 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ was human. To die and raise from the dead. So he said, Show your mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall raise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. This mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruption shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, 
Where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of the sin is the law. But thank God. But thank be to God which give us the victory in Jesus Christ. Let me a few words just show the mystery. Jesus Christ likened death as a sowing of a seed. And I want you to understand even a grain of seed, a corn seed. At the tip of the at the tip of this seed is what we call in the eye or the life of the seed. However, if that eye is being destroyed, you can plant that seed and it will not be germinated. You have to protect that eye for it to be sown to resurrect or germinate into a plant. Jesus Christ came here. The Bible will say the soul, our soul is like the eye. The soul that sits there shall not die. No, I shall die. So Jesus Christ came to preserve our soul by removing the sin from our soul. And therefore, my brethren, the eye, the eye of your life is the soul. But here it is, the light. The Bible says that if the same spirit that dwells in him, which is life, dwells in you, it shall quit your mortal body. In other words, on the day of Pentecost, our life will fill with the power of God. The Holy Ghost, we talk about the Holy Ghost power, sealed with the spirit of life. Transforming our soul, amen, like unto life. And therefore, God, the Bible says, if we are planted in the likeness of his death, we shall be planted. We shall be risen in the likeness of the resurrection. I just want you all to sing a song. We want to lower the body. Father, we praise thy name. Woody, we give you honor, we give you glory. John, Woody, we thank you this day, O God, for a demi love sister. Holy Spirit, so for the day, O God, we go to serve the body. Somebody else, people go for glory. Hey, Woody. Bless us.
Did he speak about the resurrection of the body? And when he talked about the resurrection of the body, he said, at the time of his coming, he will bring those saints with him, the body of the saints, meet him in the air. And the Bible says, when the throne of God shall stop, those saints or those souls will come with him, will be over in the air. And the Bible talks about the resurrection body, not from the earthly body again. It's not an earthly body, a spiritual body. And God will raise that body into a spiritual body. And the Bible says, and so it is. And the first man was made a living soul, an earthly body. Man will have his spiritual body. And they will, and I will have pleased with my God to have taken for God this is a child for this world. You commit this body, that's the God.
Okay, this is okay.
Can you tell me from this? Acts of Priest. Yes. Your foot, right. do you have it? You check out or else what's my foot too? Right. Careful, eh? All right, careful. Take care, right? Okay. Yeah, we okay. Nice turn. Yeah. Her. Ayan, Uka. Ayan, Good. The movie back next trip. We do that too in a whole, it was so cooperative. You take me out? A second. I do anything. I don't want most of these bands in my bike. I want to take it out too. That was before I cut through so it. Nice <laughs> you like it? everything went good. You can't please everybody.